Well, it was very cold. Uh, it was August. I stood outside the abortion facility until I saw a couple approach. Then I went up to and approached them, and then I was arrested. There were two police officers, three detectives. I was asked to move on, and I refused to do that. The police officer read me my rights and then took me to the station. I knew that the prayer was extremely important at the location where the babies were being killed. So I remember one day texting my friend in the States and I said, are you sure I should be doing this? Are you sure it's not enough just to stand there and pray? And he messaged me back straight away and he said, do you really believe babies are being killed there? And I texted him back and I said, yes, of course I believe babies are being killed there. He said, well, then you need to be trying to stop that. You need to be reaching out to these women. So that's when I made the decision that yes, I would definitely do more than just praying there and I'd become one of the, we call them life advocates or sidewalk counsellors. We pray outside the abortion facilities and we offer help to women outside the abortion facilities. If a mother there does want to take advantage of our help, then we do everything that we can to provide whatever support she needs. Financial help, even uh, if she needs all of her hospital expenses paid for the birth of the baby, we take care of whatever she needs. Our life is, um, is all about our family. We spend all of our time together, almost all of our time together. I love homeschooling because I really get to know my children. I have a good relationship with them. But what I said before is true. This is the biggest human rights abuse of our time and in history. Nobody wants to be seen as an extremist. Because there are so few of us, we appear to be extremists. We think abortion is extreme. Killing children is extreme. We are totally rational, normal people who are abhorred by the idea of babies being killed. It has been stressful. There are some jobs that I can't apply for and um, I was recently denied some insurance because I have a criminal conviction. But I don't regret it because I'm, I, I was happy to do this. It's a privilege for me to have a conviction for doing the right thing. Around Melbourne, there have been around 300 women over the last two decades that have accepted help from the helpers. We have these children that are evidence that this kind of advocacy does work. And it also proves that many women do not want to have abortions. So many of these happy families are so grateful to the helpers. They want people to know that their babies were saved and they want other women to know that the support is there for them as well. If I hadn't had the help from ACL and the Human Rights Law Alliance, I don't think I'd have had the capacity to follow this through to the High Court level. It gave me a lot of confidence in the case, knowing that they were on board. They've brought a lot of public attention to the case as well. Well, it's very important for all Australians because of the free speech. If we lose, then governments, this government and future governments, can outlaw Christians speaking in public. They can outlaw journalists reporting on certain matters. It's essential that this law be challenged for that reason. When I'm involved in pro-life work, I feel that I have a real chance to change the culture. And I feel that I can be an apostle of God's mercy. Life advocacy outside the abortion facilities is an act of mercy to the women and the men who go in there and to the staff of the abortion facilities. Kathy is an example to everybody of courageous faith. And people like Kathy 
are amazing because they do what Jesus said, which is to make the light shine brighter. He says, you know, you'll, you'll be persecuted for my sake. You'll be called all kinds of evil names. You'll be accused falsely. But he says in the very next breath, you know, climb up on top of a hill where your light can be seen, like a city on a hill that cannot be hidden. Kathy is an example of the courageous faith that Jesus would have us to live out. I find that an extraordinary witness and example. And I hope, I sincerely hope that Australian Christians across the nation can look at people like Kathy and say, well, it's time that we kept shining the light.